Well, hello, Cyberland. My name is Marlon. Let me move the camera here slightly. The channel's old fart hacks, and what we're looking at here is put it, what we got, we're going to have to do to reassemble the hinge for my navigator's power running board. The rear, this is for the this is the rear hinge. Anyway, what we have here are the four main bodies. This is the part that mounts to the car. This is the part that mounts to the running board. These are the pivots. Then we have the new bushings we'll put in. There are eight of those. By the way, this is what a good bad one looks like. This is one of the ones I took out of the, the uh, brackets here. And this is what a replacement looks like. If you look closely, you should be able to see this nice grayish surface here. It's kind of hard to see this there. It's a plastic coating. That is your entire lubrication surface. When that wears out, the running board hangs up. But if you've got one of these, you already know that. And then, of course, there are the pins. Now, these pins are not the normal pins. These are the original pins, but they've been modified. As you notice, there's a thing called a Zerk fitting here now. There's a hole through here. It goes on both sides, and there's a small groove and the whole purpose of that is to allow me to squirt grease into these things and hopefully make them last a little longer. So, anyway, to do the preliminary evaluation, I know the pins are way undersized to the holes, to the, to the bushings. This is why we're going to have to compress them a little bit, which is fine. The bushings will not go in to the brackets. They're oversized on either side. Oops, I'll find that one later. Got more. Um, by the way, you can get a set of these. I think they're now up to about 40 bucks for the set. So the real question is how much are we going to have to compress these? The holes here... seem to be about... Oh, that's right. This is all metric crud. Are supposed to be, I've been told, 12 millimeters, but they're not. Why did that go back? Millimeter, see? Millimeters. Anyway, these run about 11 and a half millimeters. When they're cleaned up. These are slightly dirty. I haven't cleaned them yet. 11.6 or thereabouts. I know they're 11, at least 11 and a half because I pulled an 11 and a half tool through here. But the goal is going to be to get them when cleaned up. I would expect after cleaned up they'll be about 11.7 millimeters or thereabouts. Yeah. There is crud in there, but as you can see, about 11.6 uncleaned up. And before I assemble this, I'm going to have to de-nasty this and repaint it, of course. But yeah, about 11.6, 11.61. The pens themselves are exactly on 10 millimeters. These are ground to that. Of course, make a liar out of me. Anyway, okay, so they're 9.5. This is not my day for anything being what I expect. 9.5, okay. The outer diameter of the, these new bushings is 12.1, so we're going to have to knock them down by about a half a millimeter. And as you already saw, the inside diameter of these... is 10. In fact, that's what the spec calls for is the, you know, and this is be basically 12 millimeters or thereabouts. And then the internal diameter would be, tw yeah, 12 millimeters outside, 10 millimeters on the inside with a one millimeter wall thickness. So what I'm going to have to do, and I expect that this, the, the instructions from the seller tells you that, what you do is, oh, I'll use this for pointing, you can see a seam right here, 
and you come in with a Dremel tool and you go buzz and you zip that down a ways. And then you can cram them into the brackets and then you can pound the pins through. The pins, by the way, are a press fit in these holes right here. So anyway, that will be what's going to be coming up in the near future. Again, these have been drilled. I don't know, gravity works. And those are stainless, they might not pick up with a magnet. Drilled and tapped. Or that screw, or that zerk fitting. So, that's a brief overview. As I said, oh yeah, here's an example of a somewhat lesser, lessy goody. One of these bushings. I've had them come out where the bushing's just completely gone. Anyway, that's a, a quick example of what we're going to be doing in the next video, is cleaning up these parts, slitting these parts, and then we'll start the actual final assembly. Anyway, have fun. Good night.